hello guys welcome to this channel uh, i'll be taking you through the steps on how to do photo editing photoshop manipulation filling of background spot removals and all things that entail photoshop and Lightroom editing i'll be taking you through a short uh, process on how to merge to dress up uh, a person who, who is not uh, fully dressed in a suit then to make it uh, look nice in a suit. I usually use uh, two, two, uh, two photoshops. I usually use the 2020. It has some um, aspect of, uh, of specs that I usually admire from it. And also I usually use the Photoshop 2023. So I'll straight I've opened my Photoshop. I'll go to file where I've stored my file, my file manager. I'll take the, the photo that you want to dress. Then I'll drag it to my Photoshop. I'll drop it there. That's the photo that I want to dress up in a suit. Then uh, I'll take you through uh, very necessity steps. Maybe your Photoshop, uh, you have not been using it previously or uh, you are the first time to use. There, there is these uh, two windows. The, the fourth color, the forward color should always be white, and the backward color should always be black. So you just pick up the the backward color, then the background color, then you drag it to the right corner, then to make it on a black background, and the forward color should always be white. This is the person that I want to dress up in a suit. So. According to the logistics, uh, that's why you are there as an editor or a photographer or a videographer so that you can deliver the work to the client. First, I will need to, to select the, the subject. I need, uh, for this particular case, you just need to select the face uh, on the skin that is open, that is the face and the neck. I go back to my left column where they usually these tools from top dropping down downwards there is this the fourth icon it always indicates that as the quick selection tool as you can see so i'll pick the quick selection tool when you right click on this tool the usually for icon is object selection tool quick selection and magic i'll use the quick selection tool then i'll i'll select on the subject on the place that i want to for the software nowadays, the Photoshop from Photoshop 2020 and, uh, and above, they usually enhanced by an aspect called uh, artificial intelligence, the AI. It usually helps you know what you are selecting. So I'll just make sure I have a, a good selection so, so that I, it can give me a, a perfect match of what I want to do. So to subtract the selection, you need to press Alt so that you can subtract the, you can make sure you have a perfect selection of the skin that is, you are going to use. Then you can zoom in to make sure you have a, when you want to zoom in, you, you usually use the control button and the alt, it usually helps you to, and the scroll button on your mouse. So I can zoom in and zoom out. So I think the selection, the outline selection is okay. Then I'll just need to select, to select and mask so that I can have the selection. That the output settings during selection, you need to mark it as a new layer. Then you indicate, remember the settings. Then I'll press OK. Then I'll have the selection. Then for the for the uh, you need to be having a an image that is uh, suit dressed so that you can move the the subject that you, have, you want to match to the new subject. So I'll just go to my file manager. I'll pick the photo that is uh, in suit dressed. Then I'll place it in a new layer. This is the photo that I want to match this subject to this photo i hope you follow the step keenly then i will just need to control c to select the subject or you can also drag 
drag the subject to this new layer then you drop that's the, the subject that I want to, to match you can see so to make it a perfect blending into the suit that the, the subject we want to dress on you know uh, first you need to go to the first layer this is the background copy then you reduce the opacity the opacity is to help you see the matching of the of the eyes of the new subject that you have came with with the other one if it's matching so to make sure that you you don't have a distorted shape then you can just increase your opacity and to make sure the selection is okay so uh maybe for the case that you see the the subject that you have moved it's uh, it's a bit bigger you need to press shift then you drag one corner so that to make sure the size of the subject looks looks reasonable so you make sure it fits uh, accordingly so that the size of the of the subject matches the rest of the body so that it looks proportional so i think it looks proportional depending on the need just to make sure it looks uh, appropriate then i'll i'll check the the checkbox to enter then i'll turn off the visibility layer so that i can be left with the original layer there is uh, this tool called uh, chrome when you put your mouse on this left tab you see this tool that indicated a chrome a chrome stamp tool then i will need to to add the the selection the brush selection so that uh, you you can see you, you need to add the size you can use the size but so also there are also shortcuts on the keyboard that you can be using so with time or the, I'll, I'll do a video on how to on the shortcuts to use on your keyboard when you're using photoshop and uh, any other related editing softwares so i'll clone i, I need to clone the the subject so that it can be left on a on an invisible place so that I can be able to merge the, the, the top layer, the, the top the background copy layer on top of the other selection. So I'll switch on, switch off the, the background layer. Then I'll clone, I'll press Alt to copy the background that I want to, to clone. Make sure the, the brush tool is uh, of a suitable size that will not give you some dirty work. Make sure you move it gently. So that when you the, uh, when you make the top layer visible, it will not overlap with the underground, the background layer. So I'll just need also to clone this other side. It may help you get the best accuracy. Now you can make the background copy layer visible. You can see the background layer is not visible or it's not bringing alteration on the background copy layer. Then I'll just need to go, I'll make the background copy layer active. Then I'll go to the left uh, icons. Then I'll look for this icon called the eraser tool. Then I'll select on the first one. There are three icons, the eraser tool, background eraser tool, and magic. I'll select the eraser tool. Then I'll make my brush on a appropriate size. Then I'll brush off the... Uh, I need to make it to have a smooth, a, a smooth, uh, edition, uh, a smooth service. I will need to go to this part. Then you reduce the hardness, maybe to around five. Then you can come and see. It will be give you a a smooth service as you do your correction. Then you make sure you erase. Then it will give you a smooth selection. You can undo the selection. The, the step that you have done that is Control Z. 
then make sure you have a good selection As you can see, the subject has already matched on the suit and the subject is ready for use. Guys, I, I, I hope I've given you the instruction properly. Maybe you have any issue with the steps. I can give you the instruction and you can also follow the steps easily so that you can be able to match the subject. Thank you. I hope that you have learned something from the video. I will see you in our next video. Cheers.